Okay, today we ha I want to discuss another common problem with the 6.0. This is only common with the uh, 03, early 04 style turbos. It's the bolt that gets stuck on the back side of the turbo. This, I've got the turbo out here laying on the counter to show you just so it's easier to see what I'm talking about, what I'm doing. The, uh, and this is the way as if I was standing in front of the car working on it, so this is the back on the exhaust. These other bolts, they usually come out without too big of a deal. This one back here, sometimes it can be a real bear. So I just want to show you some tricks that I've learned and uh, discovered, people's helped me out with, uh, and what works. So the first thing is, what, I, what I've done, Snap-on now makes a wrench very similar to this, but before they did, uh, what we did was get a six-point Snap-on wrench, and I've taken it, I've cut off, the head was about this long, so I've cut off maybe an inch or so of it. I've cut a few notches in it, and I'll explain that, that'll make sense here in a second, on uh, what to do. Now this bolt, if you have not stripped it yet, you can usually get it out, and it's a good wrench to have. Just purchase one of these wrenches, or you can purchase snap-ons that they're making now, um, and just use this. It's a PSW710. It's a snap-on wrench, it's already done, it's, it's very similar to the one that I cut, except for the one I cut had an angle bent to it. Theirs does not. It's good to have both of them. And also, I ground the notches in here, and I'll show you why. Anyhow, it's not stripped, then you want to take your wrench, stick it on there, and as you're laying over the car, I take my snap-on pry bar, and I'll wedge it in between right here against the turbo and in the notch. And I have all kinds of leverage, and usually with this, I can just pry on it and break it loose. It works great unless somebody's stripped it. Now, if it is stripped, a couple of things that work good. Another one, we've just taken a, um, for clearance to get it by the body, that's why things have to be cut down like the wrench and stuff. stuff. This is just a uh, small, call it monkey wrench, uh, pipe wrench, whatever you want to call it. Same thing, cut the notch in it. If you, uh, if you take it, you cut it, and you have the notch, you can slide it over it. Same thing with the notch. Take your uh, pry bar, put it in there, and break it loose. This works great. And the only other trick that I know of that gets the bolt out is if you take your, um, if you've seen these sockets before, they're pretty readily available now. It doesn't matter if it's Sears or anywhere else. This is the 17 millimeter extractor for the strip bolts. And this is the, the uh, 03, early 04 style bolts with the thick washer on them. It doesn't matter if it's, it does not have to grip your 10 millimeter head. You can grip the washer just to break it loose. That's why I use this 17. So anyway, we'll take this, the 17 millimeter one on it, when it's in the vehicle, slip it over it and grab the washer and the bolt head and break it loose. This also works great if you have a flex head ratchet or a way to get inside there. Again, the same thing, take this with the leverage, break it loose, it works great so you're not sitting there trying to push back a little five or six inch wrench to do it. One of these usually always works for me and it should work for you. Thank you.